I've been researching the health effects of dirty kilowatt or 60 cycle electricity in our electrical distribution system for say 30 years and have come to the disturbing conclusion that nearly all the ailments of humankind, and probably animals too, are, are due to the dark side of, uh, of electricity, which, which I call dirty electricity, that as electricity spread from urban to rural areas and, and from state to state, that mortality followed its perfect sync. In other words, uh, if you looked at rural areas compared to urban areas in the 20s and 30s, huge differences, 50 to 80 percent differences in mortality, with the mortality being higher in the electrified areas. And, uh, and, and, uh, and the other thing that was amazing, it wasn't just leukemia, which I expected. I showed that in kids that it was related to uh, electrification, probably maternal exposure. But all the, all the, all the cancers, uh, breast, prostate, cardiovascular disease. And the one that really surprised me the most was suicide. That is an EMF disease. And, uh, it makes good sense because depression is part of the, the, the symp symptomatology. This, this dirty electricity gets into the ground, it's called stray voltage. It affects the milk production, it affects calving, it affects the cows get sick. And, and these are big ad, big mammals and they're not neurotic. And they don't change their milk production because they're, they're, they're loony. It's the, stuff, the stuff gets them, makes them sick, and, and you can measure it. And, uh, and he, they did a great study showing which harmonics and which frequencies are most detrimental. Uh, and have the most effect on milk production. And, uh, and let's face it, if it affects them, it's affecting us. I know it's affecting us. Yep, and I love the fact there's no placebo effect with animals. It's fantastic. A lot of schools are going wireless. And every kid's got a, a notebook or an iPad and whatever else. And uh, I just think it's really bad. And at, at a young age, it's, it's... And the other thing is pregnant women. I, I think that's where the problem is for the next generation. And I just hope we have it lost generation coming down the pike. You mean because of the fact that our sperm count will be lower and that we're frying all the eggs? In utero exposure. I, 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 I'm a woman that, that works in a high EMF environment when she's in the first trimester pregnant. It's just asking for trouble. And so finally, finally now after 30 years of doing this, I think I know how, how what happens, and where the pathology is, and, and hopefully what we can do about it. Unfortunately, the, powers that be uh, don't care to, to address what they're going to have to do.